Hey, this is just to you fathers out there. Thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44. Actually, you know what? It's to everybody because you probably have a father, even if you, even if you're not a father, you probably have a father. And, uh, you know, it's a big deal. It really is. I know fathers go, ah, it's no big deal. But you know what? It really is a big deal. And, uh, I think it's really important that you take a time, at least pick up the phone and call your father, tell him Happy Father's Day. And I, I'll tell you a little story about my dad. I think I've told it before, but for people who missed it, my father was a really cool guy. I really dug him. Um, we had some great times together. He was a professional football player, in great shape, played for the Chicago Cardinals. And in the 60s, he was a broadcaster and worked with NBC. And he went to get a full physical. We knew at the time he had like high cholesterol, right? So he was on kind of a low cholesterol diet. But back then, this was in the 60s. And, uh, you, know, you know, 60s, 70s. And low cholesterol, you know, diets back then, they were still having eggs and bacon and, you know, all sorts. I think he cut out from four bacons to three or something like that. But, you know, he's still, he, anyway, long story short, he had a full physical. They said, you are completely healthy. He walked in the door where my mom was, had a heart attack, and died. That was it, 51. And right before that, I had gotten into Scientology. This was one of the blessings for me with Scientology was that I did reconnect with my parents where I'd been kind of this, you know, out of touch with them, and uh, I did get back in touch with them, and I wrote him this wonderful letter just telling him, you know, how much, how sorry I was for kind of the hassles I had caused him, because I had really caused him a lot of hassles when I was a teenager, and uh, that how much I loved him, and that I really had these nifty plans, you know, at the time I was going to be a dynamic auditor, which, you know, I thought was great, I found out later he didn't think it was so great, and neither did my mom, but you know, I thought it was cool, and anyway, point being, I mainly wrote the letter telling him how much I loved him, having no idea he was going to die shortly after that, but he did get that letter, and I was the only person, and this is a man who knew tons of people, you could, he's in Wikipedia, Paul Christman, right, you can look him up, but uh, he knew tons of people, and tons of people loved him, and everybody had was so sad that they didn't get to tell him whatever they wanted to tell him. Do you know what I mean? Like, you have something that you want to tell your dad, probably. And all I'm saying is take time to call them and let them know. Because you never know. I mean, he was only 51 years old. And he had a heart attack and he died. And that was it. So, and for Scientologists where, you know, you're not talking to your p parents. I know a lot of you guys are lurking and you're under the radar. Call your parents. For God's sakes, they're your father. You know what I mean? It's your mother. I mean, take time to call your parents. That is one of the ab most abusive things that the Church of Scientology does. What they do is this. They, they put this on suppress it. They, they declare you suppress it. They're supposed to do this whole thing where they check out, you know, you get to talk and tell your side and all this other stuff. But for most of us, they didn't. I never had anything. They just, that was it. Mark Bunker put the video up, Magoo Dancing in Boston. The next day I was declared suppressive. <laughs> it was like, hello, what happened to ethics gradients? Oh, that doesn't matter. You know, you're too bad. You're too horrible. It's like, yeah, right. But the point is they declare you suppressive, and then you have one of two choices. You can either do good roads and fair weather, which is what I did with my mom, because they got with me, and this is how it goes. They go, well, you know, you have epilepsy. That's an illness. Here's the policy that states all illness is, is because due to suppressive being connected to a suppressive. So who's the suppressive in your family? And, you know, so you kind of think around, well, my mom's kind of critical of me now. Must be my mom. All right. So there you go. Now you've got one of two choices. You can do good roads and fair weather with her, which is basically talking about nothing for the rest of your life, except the weather and movies and stuff like that, or disconnect from her. Now, I was not, even even though at the time we were having some hard times, because she didn't like Scientology at all. She saved my life. She did save my life. So I, I'll always thank her for that. Because she made me get back on my medicine that Scientology had made me get off of. But the point is, I was not going to disconnect from her. I don't care what Scientology or L. Ron Hubbard said. She's my mom. You know what I mean? I had a great childhood. I really did. I really dug my mom. She was a lot of fun. 
So I wasn't going to disconnect from her, and I didn't ever. And I, I think it's really tacky. It's really, it's really wimpy. It's really like yucky that Scientologists will literally just cut someone off. I mean, that my husband, Harold Bezazian, will just never talk to me again because I have a different opinion than he does. Because I speak out and educate people about the abuses of Scientology that he knows are abusive. He knows it. There's something really wrong with that picture. And I challenge you, Harold Bezazian, to call me up and you tell me that you're okay with families being broken up, with medical abuse, which you live with me, you know how much I fought that. You know it. And the fact that you would write that I wanted to get off my medication. I didn't want to get off my medication. I wanted to get through those stupid OT levels. And that was their thing that they had, their hidden thing. So yeah, I did for that reason, but not because I wanted to get off the medication. I, I want to have seizures. Oh yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so insidious. You know what I mean? So please, to the people out there, whether you're in Scientology or out, call your parents. It, definitely call your father tomorrow. Wish him happy Father's Day. It's a little thing to do, but I'll tell you what, for the people who didn't with my father, I can't tell you how many people said, I wish I could have told him how much I loved him. Okay? So take the time. And happy Father's Day to all of you out there.